Tonight, the second phase of the Donald Davidson trial comes to a close. Davidson admitted to killing Roseanne Welsh and sexually assaulting her daughter in a vicious crime back in 2014. On your side, Troy Kless is covering this trial for us. And Troy, I know Davidson's life was discussed today. Yeah, that's exactly right, Heather and Anthony. We got a peek into Davidson's life, a really troubled life that he led as a child. And we also got a peek into his state of mind just a few years after he committed Welsh's murder. Now, again, a lot of the testimony focusing on the life he led as a child and how that could have com could have been a contributing factor to him committing such heinous acts. Donald Davidson walked quietly into court on Tuesday for the sentencing phase of the trial. He sat in silence as family members recalled Davidson's childhood. It shows blood like any child. We hit one in mommy. We hit walls. He hit walls with his head. Davidson's cousin noted that Davidson acted out. By the time Davidson was 10, he also lived with two sex offenders who were his uncles. Davidson's brother, James Earl, says some of their family members sexually abused the two. Is it true that both you and Donald were molested by the female cousin Becky? Yes, ma'am. How old were you when that happened? And how old was Donald when that happened? Earl said that the two turned to each other for sex after that because they didn't know it was wrong at the time. Davidson dealt with sex abuse, lived in awful home conditions, and tried committing suicide multiple times. James Earl still supports his brother, but recognizes the heinous nature of the crimes he's charged with. Do you feel guilty about your brother's kind of situation? I do. I feel bad for both sides because Michael Bruce is a lot of people. Now, others did testify that some of those patterns repeated when Davidson became older. We're going to have more on that part of the story coming up on First Coast News at 6 o'clock. Live in Clay County, Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.